I don't know how it's sustainable. I don't, I, I, they're, it's not it's, sustainable for this reason. That's why I could never see Activision pulling COD off of PlayStation because they get to sell the copy at full price, full $70 game. And they, they get basically all of that money. Obviously PlayStation gets a part of it for, for licensing and everything too, but, and you bring people to their, your platform, but it's going to be very odd playing COD and it says Xbox game studios on PlayStation. I mean, you can already play grounded and sea of thieves on PlayStation. So we're going to start to see more and more of Xbox studios games transition over there. There's been some rumors talking about this holiday season. We're potentially going to see, you know, some of these larger franchises like halo and potentially gears of war moving over to PlayStation, which I frankly, I would enjoy. I'd love to be able to go ahead and play those on PlayStation. Um, but they're also playable on Game Pass, so I can just hop on my PC and play them too. So it's, and that's that's where that's what Xbox's point is. Like, why would you pay full price for a game on your platform when if you already have a you know a PC or a Series X or S, you can hop over here and just pay fifteen bucks for Game Pass. I do think we are right on the cusp of seeing Game Pass also increase in price. I think it's going to go up to like seventeen, eighteen dollars a month, and I just again sustainability. I I don't I don't see how it's long term viable. I, I I don't I don't understand. But obviously it's kind of like 